Hello guys, this is Juan from Bloomerlin Design and something I get asked a few times is how to add a web font when it's not installed in your system. And the reason why it's important to have that or to know how to do this is because, you know, you don't know what fonts your clients are going to have or not installed in their, in their particular systems. So I'm going to do this um, fairly quickly. So I'm in Axure and I've got a title and a little running header here. The one that I'm going to change is Welcome. Something I want to point out here is that this title it's set to Arial and that's going to become important in just a second. But first, let's try to find the typeface. So I'm going to go to my browser and I'm just going to go to Google Fonts. It's pretty easy, google.com forward slash fonts hash or you can type Google Fonts. And you know, there's a, a lot of options here that you can use. I'm going to select one of these ones. I'm going to select um, kind of like this one. It's called Montserrat. You can always click and see how many styles are going to be using. I'm just going to use one weight just for this particular demonstration. And really quickly, you've got three little buttons. The middle one is the quick use. So you can see the page load is pretty, it's pretty quick. So I'm on the safe area. I'm going to go down a little bit and I'm going to focus on this particular URL because I'm not working actually with CSS within Axure this in here. I'm just going to copy that URL, but I'm not going to go and paste the whole thing. I need to select just a particular section of this URL. To do that, I'm just going to quickly going to find text edit just to paste it in there so you can see the area that I'm going to select. So I copy and paste it. And what I'm going to focus on is just this section all the way into Montserrat. So the HTTPS uh, all the way into equals Montserrat, which is the family I want to use. I'm going to copy command C and then I'm going to go to Acura again. What I'm going to do, let's keep in mind, I don't have that installed in my system. So I'm not going to see any differences in this particular view. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go to options. I'm going to create generate HTML files. And here's where we can actually add the web font. So you can see if you scroll down or you look down on the left, I include web fonts Yeah, I'm going to add a new one. Uh, I'm going to paste the URL and I'm going to copy that last little word which is my font and I'm going to click close. That means that it's been added. If you don't believe me, you can go back again and you can see the web font it's added. So when you close it, you're still adding it to that. However, I don't see that happening. And the reason why I don't see any changes is because A, this is set to Arial and B, I don't have this in my system. So how do I make, I don't know, how do I connect these two? What you need to do is, this is the second step, is I'm going to go back again to my publish generator HTML files and I'm going to go to font mapping. What this is going to allow me to do is, let's remember that the welcome is set to Arial. So I want us to click a plus, which is, okay, your font is Arial. Yeah. What do you want to change it to? And you can see that it says font family. And I'm just going to keep at the name that we had from Google. You can always go back and view it here, Montserrat, you can look at it at the top. You know, there's a few places where you can find the name of the font. And then just to set it up, I'm just gonna call quickly generate. I'm gonna go to my browser. And there it is. Now I can see it in Montserrat. If you wanna see if this is working, you can always go to in Chrome, view, developer, developer tools. And I'm just going to go and select this item. If you go to your CSS font family, it's for that particular item, it's uh, Montserrat. I actually went and changed that one too, as you can see, because the other one that we have here, it's Arial as well. So what this is going to do, and this is what you need to be very careful is, when you're mapping typefaces, whatever you have, it's going to be converted into that particular typeface. So I had anything that is Arial in this particular, if, I, if it was a big website with different wireframes on the side, everything Arial would be converted into Montserrat. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Probably it would be worth to work a little bit quicker. And I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I work with a font management program. You can install your Google Fonts. Uh, this one, it connects with Google Fonts. So you can always come here, search it. Uh, it's Montserrat. 
And there it is. I can install it permanently or temporarily depending on what I'm trying to do uh, in my design, right? And I just prefer to have it installed as well in my... So if I come here, let's type Montserrat, it's there. So by installing it, obviously you have a local view of how this is gonna work and probably it's gonna be more accurate. But the good thing is that if your client's gonna be checking your wireframes or your prototype, they can actually have access to the typeface as well. Anyway, hopefully this help, this help you and I'll talk to you later, bye.